Hey basketball fans, today in this video I am reviewing the Carnival Sunrise basketball court. Now, I wasn't personally on this boat, but somebody very close to me was, and you can go check out his YouTube channel as well. It's my dad. His YouTube channel is Trip Reviews, so go check that out. Link is in the description below. But if you want to play a lot of basketball, there's a lot of great ships that Carnival has that has really nice basketball courts, and this is one of them. So, from the video that I have seen, the net looks like it could be a 10-foot net, but depending on the angle of the camera, it looks like it could have been also roughly 9 feet. So, whether or not this is a 9-foot or 10-foot rim, it doesn't necessarily matter, mainly because... In my opinion, it's really close. I've been, I've played on nine feet foot rims before. Uh, it, it seems really close. It's not going to go and mess up your shot. And if it is a ten foot rim, it's fantastic. So it's either going to be a nine or ten foot rim. And the mesh that's around it, unlike the Carnival Pride, where you could not shoot a basketball without it hitting the mesh over top of the uh, the court. This mesh on on this court, on the Sun Carnival Sunrise, is high enough so that you don't have to worry about having your high arcing shot hit that mesh and screw up your shot. Because as you can see in this video, it's a perfect height. Now, going down to the court itself, it's roughly a concrete type of material similar to the Carnival Magic, where I just re reviewed that basketball court because I was on it myself. And... The basketball court itself looks like it's pretty well regulation. So the basketball key, like the key on the basketball court, looks pretty well regulation from the the video. They were having a free throw tournament and they were shooting pretty well. So it seems to be a legit free throw line and key. Going from there is the three point line. So on the Carnival Magic. It is legit an NBA three-point line. However, on the Carnival Sunrise, what I can see from this video, that it is not a huge distance away from the key itself. So, and it is maybe about six inches away, which makes it a college three-point line. So, if this is a 10-foot rim, and you've got video that I'm showing throughout this video for you, or throughout this, this YouTube video, for you to see for yourself, and if it is a 10 foot rim and it is for sure a college three point line, you could get a lot of training done. Now the only downfall to this court versus the Carnival Magic is that there's only one basketball net on the cruise while with Carnival Magic there are two basketball nets. So still a lot of fun. The only downfall is there's also soccer nets just like the Carnival Magic there's soccer nets but at least you can kind of hide those soccer people over to the other side of the court while with this uh, this basketball court there's only one net and it's right in the middle dead center of the ship which is not great if you're trying to fight around some people who apparently like soccer and not basketball and so in that case that would make me extremely upset because I would hate to go for a shot and land on a soccer ball and bust my ankle or my knee up again and that just I just don't like soccer on a basketball court soccer is meant to be on a field that's my own personal opinion. They should not be allowed there, but I understand they have soccer games for kids in some points of time and things like that, so whatever. Anyways, I would give this basketball court roughly a 5.5 to 6 out of 10 review, mainly for the reason of the so it only having one basketball net. There's soccer balls that are being kicked around by kids and other parents. And for the fact that if you wanted to have a basketball game, you're going to be stuck with having younger kids on your team so that you don't get other people upset. Now, this could be a plus or a minus if you have a young kid yourself. I personally don't. And if I did, he probably wouldn't be playing in my basketball games because... Uh, adults can get quite rough. Now, of course, uh, when I was on the Carnival Magic and we had full court and half court games being played, we did sometimes allow younger kids to play. They were uh, they were pretty good shooters, and it was okay. But 
if we were having any kind of a serious game, you're not going to want to have kids. And there are times of the day where you've got six or eight adult men who just want to have an actual real game and get a little rough and start being able to do true post moves and drive towards the rim and know you're going to get hammered and things like that there are times for that and generally speaking if there's only one net you're not going to be able to have an adult only time so that is kind of a downfall of this court but overall if i was to go on a cruise uh, i've been on carnival pride and carnival magic myself I would still pick Carnival Sunrise just because it has a basketball court and if anything you can still work on your ball handling skills if you're a player and it's going to work out. Now I would suggest bringing your own basketball because you may not like Carnival's basketballs. The basketballs that they had on Carnival Magic were the never flat Spalding basketballs. I, I, I used to have one of those basketballs and I never really had an issue with them, but some players did. So uh, if you prefer having a nicer basketball, bring one. They're not going to stop you. So go for it. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll do some more basketball plays, drills, and skills tomorrow.